Friday was like golf's version of March Madness. Evidently, Phil Haas got the memo because he was making buckets like this from 131 yards out for Eagle. It was an exciting day Friday at the Wyndham Championship from the bubble watch to the number crunching. It was a pivotal day for players that needed to make the cut in order to move on to the FedEx Cup playoffs. But none were as clutch as Ryan Armour, Johnson Wagner and Jeff Ogilvy. Armour was 187th in the FedEx Cup standings coming into the week and needed something big to move on to next week's Northern Trust. How's a 61 for something big? If you thought that scorecard was good, take a look at this one. There are only two par fives at Sedgefield and Wagner played them at five under. Yeah, that's right. He got an albatross just five holes into his round and eagled the other. Wagner was 141st, not anymore. The bubble boy Jeff Ogilvy was 125th on the dot and needed to get himself inside the cut line in order to have a shot at moving on. On the tee, Jeff Ogilvy. The golf gods were on the former major champ side. Check it out. He got not one, not two, but three giant boosts from the cart path. Feel like much now. That has gone an extra hundred yards. I mean, if any, we got a Jeff on the Wedge. <laughs> yeah. His play even surprised himself at times. Chris, that ridge, and now it's downhill. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the Aussie went on to make four birdies in a row, five in his last seven holes to shoot four under, squeezing inside the cut line by one stroke. Ogilvy said after his round that he knew it was do or go home. Message received. Meanwhile, Henrik Stenson is well within the top 125 at 75th, but the Iceman has ice in his veins this week, looking to get some valuable FedEx Cup standings points that could come in handy later in the playoffs. The former FedEx Cup champion got some breaks of his own. This approach on 17 nearly hit the cameraman went around the microphone and back toward the hole. I'm gonna get very close to the hole. It's certainly a lot better than what it was. That's great. Son of three-time Wyndham champ Davis Love III, Drew Love had an incredible escape from the trees on 11 to three feet. Wow, playing the second hardest hole on the golf course. He goes from nearly making double or worse to just about three feet for birdie. Somebody's closer. Ryan Moore wanted a little more out of this one, nearly knocking it in from the fairway on the ninth. Hello, hello, hello. Oh. oh. <laughs> The Carolina crew are in their comfort zone this week in Greensboro. Wake Forest's Webb Simpson and East Carolina's Harold Varner III are very much in the mix. Varner, one of those outside the bubble, is getting it done when it counts. For all those bubble updates, make sure and follow PGA Tour on social media. And I'll see you again on Saturday night for a recap in The Takeaway.